Well, our Professor Jonathan Turley is criticizing the demeanor of CNN's Jim Acosta following Friday's White House Coronavirus Task Force briefing. One America's Emily Finn explains. Law professor and political commentator Jonathan Turley takes to Twitter to express his distaste with CNN White House correspondent Jim Acosta's recent behavior. This week, Turley posted a tweet criticizing Acosta for interrupting Dr. Deborah Burks of the White House Coronavirus Task Force during Friday's press briefing. Turley said Acosta's attitude at the press conference was, quote, an example of how CNN's echo journalism model is destroying the media's credibility. He went on to say Acosta's questions were, quote, an effort to score points rather than elicit information. During Friday's press conference, Acosta interrupted Burks while she was discussing the World Health Organization's handling of the coronavirus pandemic. The head of the WHO said there was no reason to ever do a travel ban. You know, it wasn't until January 14th that we knew that there was human to human transmission. Rem Dr. Burks, the president was saying this was going to go away. It's April. It is going to go away. Pre Mr. President, it's you said it was going to go in away in it's April. You said when it warmed up. But talking over leaders of our country appears to be a habit Acosta can't seem to break. Back in 2018, President Trump called Acosta a, quote, rude person after causing multiple scenes during press conferences with then-press secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders. You're a very rude person. The way you treat Sarah Huckabee is horrible. And the way you treat other people are horrible. You shouldn't treat people that way. Go ahead. But the president isn't the only one to call out Acosta for his seemingly disrespectful behavior. According to the Washington Free Beacon, president of the White House Correspondents Association, Jonathan Carl, said Acosta was an opinion journalist, adding, quote, reporters make a mistake if they appear to be too much like an opposition to the president. He added, we're not the opposition party. We're supposed to report and report aggressively on the president, on any president, but not to go over the top. It's important to note, the White House Correspondents Association recently kicked One American News White House correspondent Chanel Rion out of the briefing room over allegations she disregarded social distancing rules amid the COVID-19 outbreak, but continues to allow Acosta to have a seat during the press briefings, despite overwhelming criticism regarding his behavior. Emily Finn, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.